Yo, guys, good evening, both of you. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Diana? I find teacher. Okay. I can't complete. I can't complain. I can't complete. Okay. Can't complain. Very good. Sounds good. Rodrigo, how are you? You find? Yes, but I have uh, issues in this week. Oh, you have had issues this week in uh, the university? Yes, in the work. And at work, okay, I'm sorry for that. Sometimes you just not need to worry and let things happen. So you will find a way to fix everything later. But it's nice to have you in class again. So guys, I'm going to start sharing my screen so we can start the class and welcome everybody. I guess more students are going to um, to join, okay, but we are going to start here, okay? For early comers, okay, for the ones that come early or on time to the class, I have this special activity, <clears throat> okay? Who's this man? Who's this man? Donald Trump. Okay, he is Donald Trump. Okay, former US president. All right, very good. Can you read his lips and tell me what he is saying right now? What is he saying? Uh -huh. Ideas? What is he saying? Can you read? his lips and tell me. Okay. Speak. Okay, speak. Let me see. No, no. Rodrigo, what do you think he's saying by reading his lips? I don't have an idea. You didn't have an idea, okay? Let's see, I'm going to reveal it to you, okay? I'm going to delete this and now let's see. All talk, no actions. All talk, no actions, okay? So all talk, no action, okay? All talk, no action. All talk, no action. Do you understand this? because today we have a speaking class, okay? So all talk, no action. In this class, you have to talk, okay? All talk, you have to talk, okay? Very good, because we have a speaking class, okay? So very good, we are going to start the class now, okay? We are going to do this, okay? Let's see, okay, very good. And now, okay, we have this, uh, this is something that I want to mention before we start the class, okay? You have to go online uh, to the platform, guys, and complete this spelling rule grammar. Remember that in unit three, we have learned about the present continuous, okay? Present continuous. And depending on the verb, this is how we form the ing form, smile, smiling, dance, dancing, okay? If the end, when the verb ends in E, we delete, it, we delete it and add ing ending. So example, smile, we delete the E and we say smiling, okay? Dance, we delete the E, 
and we say dancing and so on, guys. Go to this um, exercise 3.2.3 and read these guys because we don't have time to do this uh, deeper here in the classroom. So you have to go online to the platform and read this. This is how we form the ing of the verbs. Okay, you can do this later after the class. You can do this tomorrow. If you already did this and you don't remember, do it again, okay? But very good. We are going to move on in the class because as I said, we don't have time to, to uh, explain everything in that matter. So here we have, let's warm up. What is warm up, guys? Any idea what is warm up? Can you see the picture? What is he doing? He's warming up. So what is warm up? Como calentar. Exactly. Warm up es calentar. Warm up. Okay. Before the class, we need to warm up. Okay. Warm up. Very good. So how do you say él está calentando? He's warming up. Very good. He is warming up. Okay, good. Good, Rodrigo. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute. Oh, my Jesus. Let's see here. Okay, let's go here. All right, very good. So let's go here, guys. And before we start speaking, we are going to do this. Okay, very good. Okay, here we have some time expressions. Uh, or frequency adverbs that we use them for present simple or present continuous. Twice a week, do I use this with present simple or with present continuous, guys? What do you think? Here or here? Present continuous. Present continuous. Okay, we will see, we will see, okay? Very good. Never. With present simple or present continuous? Present simple. Present simple, okay, very good. Right now, we use this with present simple or present continuous? Right now. Present, present continuous. Present continuous, okay, very good. Always. Uh -huh. What do you think? No? Present simple. Present simple. Present simple. Okay, present simple. Okay, now. What do you think now? Continue. Present continuous. Okay, very good. Usually? Present simple. Present simple. Once a day. Once a day. Present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. Uh, we are going to see, okay, every day. What do you think? Every day is a routine. Which one do we use for routines? Present simple or present continuous? Yep. Present continuous. For continue. routines? For routines? No, for routines, we use present simple. Example, no. I brush my teeth no. every day. Yeah. I brush my teeth every day. So that is a repeated action. That is um, a habit or that is a routine. So we use the present simple for that. Okay, okay. good. Okay. Today, do we use this here or here? 
Present continuous. Present continuous, okay. On Mondays. Present simple. Present simple, we can say, we are going to give examples later on. Very good, look. What do you think? Present simple. Present simple. Okay. We are going to check. Listen. Present continuous. Present continuous. We are going to check that later, often, often. Present simple. Present simple, okay. Every weekend. Present simple. Present simple. At the moment. Present continue. Continuous. Sometimes. Present simple. <laughs> okay, and hardly ever. Present simple. Okay, very good. Guys, now, before we do this, um, what are these? These are frequency adverbs, so they can give you a clue what is the tense that you are using. Example here, I never play soccer. This is a repeated action, or that is a habit that I don't have. So I never play soccer. I never play in soccer, or I am never playing soccer. No, I never play soccer. I always do the dishes. I always do the dishes, okay? The dishes, always do the dishes. Yo siempre lavo los platos. It's a routine, it's a habit. So we use the present simple. So always is here, correct. Usually, I usually take a shower in the afternoon. That is a habit, okay? I usually take a shower in the afternoon. So usually it's correct here, every day. If you see the word every, cada, siempre, todos los días, every day. So that is a routine. That is a habit. We use a present simple for that. On Mondays, every Monday or on Mondays, okay, that means a routine or a habit. So present simple. Look, look, they are dancing. Look, they are dancing. Something that is happening right now. I say, hey, look. Something is happening. So we use present continuous for this present continuous, okay? Sometimes it's a frequency adverb that we use with present simple. So it's correct. I sometimes go to church. I sometimes go to church. Every weekend, a routine, express a habit. Yes, it's correct. Often, yes, is present simple. I often play soccer on Saturdays. Yo casi siempre, muy fre frecuentemente juego fútbol los sábados. I often, frecuentemente, muy seguido. And hardly ever, hardly ever, casi nunca, hardly ever goes here. But twice a week goes here because I can say, I go to church twice a week. I go to church twice a week. So that is a habit. So we use twice here. Today, okay, it's raining today. So that is, okay, today is in present continuous. Now, right now, once a day, once a day goes here, once a day. I comb my hair once a day, okay? Very good. I study English once a day. So good, so it's here because it's a routine. Very good. Right now, now today, listen at the moment and look, they are correct in present continuous. So let's send this and everybody, and all of them should be correct. Yes, all of them are correct. So guys, do you understand this? Did you under, understand oh, this? Yes? Okay, very good. Remember, guys, remember, we use present simple to talk about 
routines, habits, and general truths. Okay, we use present continuous for something that is happening right now or for future arrangements or for what else? Temporary actions. Rodrigo, you didn't come to class yesterday, right? You didn't come. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't in class. Oh, okay, you didn't come to class. And did you watch the YouTube video for the class? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So you, you should be familiar now with this. So we can move on. Guys, now I want to tell you to tell me. <clears throat> Give me excuses, excuses to say no. Let's see. Your best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend is inviting you to Cinepolis. Your best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend is inviting you to Cinepolis. Do you understand that? Do you understand? Diana, do you understand this? Boyfriend. Novio. Girlfriend, novia. But not your girlfriend or boyfriend. Your best friend's boyfriend or girlfriend is inviting you to Cinepolis. Okay, el novio de tu mejor amigo, no, en ese caso sería el novio de tu mejor amiga te está invitando a ti a Cinépolis, ok, entonces tienen que, ustedes obviamente rechazar eso, entonces tienen que decirme usando el presente continuo que no pueden, ok, o en el caso de, de Rodrigo, él, o oh, la novia de tu mejor amigo te está invitando a Cinépolis, Y le vamos a decir que no, okay? So guys, how do you say that? First, I, I can't because, oops, because, and use the present continuous, okay? Use the present continuous. I can't because, then use the present continuous. Example. I can't because I'm visiting my family this weekend, okay? Or uh, I can't because I don't have money. I can't because, give me reasons, okay? Give me reasons, examples why you can't go with that person to Cinepolis, okay? Very good. So guys, are you ready? This is the first activity of the class. Rodrigo, let's start with you. Okay, let's imagine that your best friend's girlfriend is inviting you to Cinepolis and you have to say no, but how do you refuse to that invitation? I can't because I'm sick. Very good, I can't because I'm sick. Okay, very good. I can't because I'm sick. I like it. Okay, very good. So um, think about another one, Rodrigo, another excuse. Please think about another, another excuse. And Diana, can you refuse the invitation with an excuse? Hmm? No lo entendí, teacher. Ok, this is a hypothetical situation. Es una situación que estamos planteando que el mejor amigo, o oh, oh, perdón, que la, el novio de su mejor amigo. amiga, ok, la está invitando a usted al cine, ok, pero usted tiene que decirle que no. Entonces usted dice, I can't because yo no puedo. ¿Por qué? Y ahí usted no, tiene que decir algo, ¿por qué no puede? ¿Ok? Rodrigo, I can't because I'm sick. Entonces, Rodrigo dijo, yo no puedo porque estoy enfermo. Ahí está declinando la invitación. ¿Cómo usted declinaría esa invitación? Uh, no puedo porque estoy ocupado. ¿Ok? I can't because estoy ocupada, teacher. Busy. 
I can become busy. Because busy, no? I can because then a complete sentence. I can am um, busy. Okay, busy. Yo no puedo porque yo estoy ocupada. Okay. okay. I can because I am busy. 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 Yes. I, because I am busy. Okay, very good. Now think about another one. Okay, think an, another excuse right now. Rodrigo, what is your other excuse? I can't because I visit my grandmother. Very good. I can't because I am visiting my grandmother. Mother. Okay. I can't because I'm visiting my grandmother. Okay. No puedo porque voy a visitar a mi abuela. Remember, I am visiting is um, the present continuous. But present continuous help us to express future arrangement or future action, something that you have scheduled for the future. I am visiting my grandmother, so I can't go with you, okay? I can't because I'm visiting my grandmother. Very good, good job. Okay, so Diana, what is your other excuse? Mm -hmm. I can because um, oh my God, you know. uh, no tengo tiempo. <laughs> okay, that is present simple. How do you form present simple negative sentences? What is, what is the subject? I, I I am. I am. No, we are not using verb to be here. The verb is going to be have. Have time. No tengo. I have. Uh -huh. I can because I I have time. Eso es tengo. Yo, ahí dicen no puedo porque tengo no, tiempo. No I le van can. a creer. ¿Cuál es la negativa? I can because no, I no, no, don't have. No, sí. Don't have time. Very good. I can't because I don't have time. Okay, very good. Let me give you a special um, suggestion, guys. Okay, remember that my main purpose is to help you developing, okay? To help you gain progress in English. Mi mayor enfoque es que ustedes aprendan y vayan progresando en inglés. One rule, una regla es that every topic that we study, you have to learn it. Cada tema que aprendamos, lo tienen que aprender, okay? Not only in the class, but outside the class. For example, we saw all of this yesterday, okay? And you were participating in doing good in the class. So now I said, you just have to practice, okay? Practice, practice, and this is the time to practice. Si no tienen tiempo de practicar fuera de la clase, este es el tiempo. Así es que lo están haciendo muy bien. Justo eso. Ah, no recordaba cómo hacer oraciones en el presente negativas. I don't have time. Ahí tenemos una. Ok, entonces, I'm not going to uh, forget about it now. Ok, very good. So in this one, you did very well. You did very well. Let's see the, let's see the other one. The other scenario. Your boss wants to go to your house. Your boss wants, wants in third person, so we add an S to the verb. Your boss wants to go to your house. So do you understand this, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. You have to say no. Because if you see your house is a big mess, it's disorganized, okay? It's very messy. So you have to say no. What are the excuses that you can give to your boss? 
What are the excuses? Think about excuses that you can give to your boss so your boss doesn't go to your house. <clears throat> okay, Rodrigo, we are going to start with you. I'm not in the house. Okay, I'm not in the house. I'm not in the house. I like that you are using what you know, which is the verb to be in negative. In the previous one, you use the verb to be in the positive form, I am sick. Now you are using it in the negative form, I'm not in the house. Very good, good job. Your boss says, hey, I want to go to your house and you of course will say no. So you say, I'm sorry. Hey, you can use this, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, lo siento, but I'm not in the house. I'm sorry, but I'm not in the house. Okay, we have one. Okay, very good. Diana, what is the excuse that you can give your, uh, your boss so your boss doesn't go to your house? What is the excuse? You can use the verb to be positive, negative. You can use the present simple positive or negative, or you can use present continuous, positive or negative, okay? Este sería... No sé qué excusa. Mm -hmm. In Spanish. Tell me, the, tell me the, the excuse in Spanish and we are going to try to make this in English. Mm. Voy a, mm, este, voy a, voy a trabajar. Okay, very good. That is in the future. Okay, in the future. The way we have learned to talk about future is present continuous. Do you remember with present continuous, we can talk about future actions, future arrangements. So your boss tell you, tells you, I'm going to your house. I'm going to your house in the future. Yo voy a ir a tu casa. And you will say, I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry, boss. But I'm, but, or I, I am working. Oh. Today. Today. I'm sorry, boss, but I'm working today. Okay? Voy a estar trabajando hoy. No puedo porque I'm working. Okay? Or you can say I'm working because I'm working. Okay? Very good. Okay, very good. We have two already. We have, I'm sorry, but I'm not in the house. I'm sorry, boss. I am working. Okay? Very good, okay. so you cannot go to my house. Uh, another one, uh, Rodrigo, please. Uh, I'm sorry, but no sé cómo decir que tengo que salir. Oh, very good. Just tell me, are you using present simple or present continuous? Present simple. Present simple? No, because it's not a routine, it's not a habit. So you are using present simple, be present continuous, because it's something that is going to happen in the future, okay? So, I'm going out. Going out. Mm -hmm, with my friends. Go, going out or go out is salir. I go out every Friday. Yo salgo todos los viernes. I go out every Friday. That is present simple because it's a routine. Every Friday I go out. Cada viernes yo salgo. Es una rutina, uso present, con, present simple. Pero como ahorita le estoy diciendo que yo voy a salir con los amigos, es algo que voy a hacer, que ya tengo planeado para el futuro. Entonces yo voy a utilizar the, ver, the, the present continuous, okay? I am going out with my friends. Is that clear now, guys? Yes, teacher, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. Now, 
Diana, tell me another excuse. Um, I'm sorry. Estoy de viaje. Okay, very good. That is, are you going to use present simple or present continuous? Este, present continuous. Present continuous, because present simple is for habits and routines. So this is a temporary action, right? Dijimos que también para hablar de cosas temporales, por ejemplo, I'm studying English. No quiere decir que ahorita yo estoy estudiando inglés. Quiere decir que en este periodo de mi vida ahorita estoy yo estudiando inglés. Entonces usamos present continuous. Entonces el verbo viajar, ¿cómo es en inglés? No, 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 no. No, no. Viajar. Viajar in English. No. no. Travel. 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 No. Okay. No. So how do you use, how do you structure the sentence in the present continuous? Yo no. estoy viajando. How do you say that? I am sorry. <clears throat> I am. Okay. Uh, but I am uh, travel. Tra este, sí, travel. <coughs> travel. 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 Okay, very good. So I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm sorry. traveling. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry, but I'm traveling. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm traveling. Okay, let me give you my example. Okay, let's see that my boss wants to go to my house. I can say, I'm sorry, but I'm sick. Okay, could be an, uh, one. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm sick. I'm sorry, but my family is visiting me today. So, I'm sorry, but my family is visiting me today. Lo siento, pero mi familia me estará visitando hoy. So, we cannot be all together in my house. No podemos estar todos en la casa. I'm sorry, but my family is visiting me today. Is visiting me present continuous because it's something that is going to happen in the future. Okay? Very good, guys. Do you understand this scenario? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, thank you. Very good. So let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Okay, and here we have another scenario. Okay, this is the last one for tonight. Okay, so it says let's party. Let's party and we have here an invitation. This is an invitation. Okay, custom. Do you understand what is a custom party? No? Custom party is fiesta, party, custom, disfraces. Okay? Join us for a Halloween custom party. Okay, we have the date here and we have the time here. And here we have pizza, junk food, music, and more. So this is what is going to happen in the party. And this is the place. One, two, three, Main Street, San Salvador, teacher's house. Okay, so it's going to be in my house, this costume party. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to describe, this is the first activity. Describe the party. What are we doing in the party? Where is the party going to take place? The place, where is this going to take place? When is the party? What time is the party? And what are we doing in the party? Okay, here we have all the information you need to invite or to explain the party to someone. Can you describe the party, guys? Describe the party. You, you have to describe the party with present simple and present continuous. Okay. Present continuum? With both, yes. You have to use both. Both means los dos tiempos. Present simple for some things and present continuous for other things. 
Okay, so let's think. Rodrigo, do you have an idea about how to do this? Sorry, teacher, I, I don't understand the, the question. Okay, very good. So let me explain this again. We have to describe the party, okay? We have to describe the party. All right, very good. So what is the party about? Oh, the party is about Halloween and it is a costume party, okay? The party uh, is on Monday 31st, uh, uh, Monday, October 31st at 8 p.m. In the party, we are eating pizza, we are eating junk food, we are dancing and listening to music, and we are doing more things, okay? So don't miss the party. The party is going to be at 123 Main Street, San Salvador, and it's going to be at teacher's house, okay? So I described the party. I gave, uh, I gave all the information about the party. I gave you information about what we are doing in the party. And I gave you the address where the party is going to be at. Okay, so guys, I want to know if you can do that. Basically the same I did, you have to do that. Is it clear or no? Eh, la descripción está clara, pero no, no entiendo muy bien qué está preguntando, teacher. Okay, no, you have to describe. It's not a question. You have to describe it. No, no, es, una, no es una pregunta, sino que solo tienen que describir la fiesta así como yo hice. Si se fijaron, utilicé el presente simple. Y el presente continuo. ¿Para qué usé el presente simple? Para decir, ah, la fiesta es el lunes 31 de octubre a las 8. Luego utilicé el presente continuo para decir lo que vamos a hacer en la fiesta. Es futuro. Entonces yo dije aquí, pizza. Oh, we are eating pizza. Junk food. Comida chatarra. We are eating junk food. Music. We are having music. Nosotros tendremos música. Uh, we are dancing. Nosotros vamos a bailar. And we are doing more activities. Y nosotros haremos más actividad. Okay? The party is, la fiesta es at 123 Main Street. Es en esto la dirección. Okay? Eso es lo que básicamente quiero yo que hablen ustedes. Okay? Who wants to go first? Me. Okay, very good. So now you have an idea. Can you please describe the party? Uh, we have a party uh, about Halloween. Uh, is costume party. The party is in 31 Mon uh, Monday, 31 October at the 8 p.m. and we have pizza, uh, we are eating pizza, uh, we eating junk food, we are dancing and we we had more activity. Uh, the party is in one to three main street, San Salvador, and the party is in teacher's house. Okay, very good job. You gave all the information here in the picture. So very good. You gave all the information using the two sentences, okay? We have pizza, that is okay. We have pizza, tenemos pizza, that's okay. But you can also say, we are eating pizza. Que quiere decir, vamos a comer pizza. We are eating junk food. We are having music. Nosotros tendremos música and more activities. But that was super nice. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. Okay, Diana, now you have my example and you have Rodrigo's example. 
So now, can you give us a description? Um, the party is Halloween costume party. Okay. Um, este, el día sería Okay, so yeah, Monday, October 31st. Uh, uh, Monday, October 21. 31st. Um, 31st. Um, at 8 p.m. Our eating pizza. Um, John Food, um, listening music, um, no sé qué dice ahí. More, más, y más. More, yeah, and, and more. Um, the address is, um, mm, en San Salvador, um, um, no veo cómo dice ahí. Teacher's house. Um, teacher house. Okay, very good. You gave all the information. Very good. You try to use present continuous here, listening to music. Okay. Yeah, very good. Just remember every time you have to add the subject, we are listening to music and more. Okay, very good. But that was nice. Okay, that was nice. Thank you. That was definitely a good try. And now, guys, uh, before we do that, I know that maybe we need to review. We need to review. Just let me show you here yesterday's presentation because this is the last chance you have to compare the two tenses. So uh, let me see here. Uh, just let me open up this so you can again review what we saw yesterday because it's impor important, I think. Um, here we have it. This slide is very important. Okay, this, this guys, is very important, okay? Remember when to use present simple and present continuous. We use present simple or continuous. We use the present simple to talk about repeated actions. Can you tell me a repeated action, guys? Something that you do every day? Or Brush something that is repeated? Brush my teeth. And how do you say that? The whole sentence. I always bro brush my teeth. Correct. I always brush my teeth. If you see, repeat it action. Uh, I have a question about invitation. Can okay. I say Halloween's custom party? Yes, Halloween's custom party. That means that the custom party is Halloween's custom party, okay? okay. Not Christmas okay. custom party, Halloween's custom party. Apostrophe S. Very good, good one. Okay, repeated actions, brush my teeth. That is a routine, a habit, so a repeated action. So we don't use this. We don't say I am brushing my teeth unless this is something that is happening right now. Very good. What is... Uh, Diana, can you tell me a routine or a habit that you have? Let me give you my example. A habit that I have is I listen to music or maybe a habit is I take a nap like this. Oh, it's not here. I take a nap in the afternoon every day. 
That is a habit, a routine. I take a nap um, every afternoon, okay? Very good. Yo tomo una siesta todas las tardes. Es una rutina, es un hábito, entonces uso el presente simple. And what is this, guys? General truths or facts. Verdades generales o hechos. Un hecho acerca de mí es, I like cats. Eso es un hecho, que ¿okay? Es una verdad. I like cats. A mí me gustan los gatos. I like cats. Ok, I like cats. Es un hecho, es una verdad. Entonces uso el presente simple. Ok, present simple. Ok, very good. Uh, can you give me an example, uh, Diana, uh, an example of a routine or a habit that you have? Okay. Um, yo tomo la ducha todos los días. Ok, in English? Sería... Oh, wow. I... Uh, I, I take a shower um, every day. Very good. Every day. Yes, I take a shower every day. That is perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, now, uh, Rodrigo, can you tell me a general truth or a fact using the present simple? I like coffee in the morning. I like coffee in the morning. That is not a repeated action. You are saying that you like coffee. So this is a general truth. Okay, very good. Sky is blue. That is a fact. Es un hecho. Sky is blue. Okay, very good. Or we can say cats like milk. That is a fact. Es un hecho. Innegable. A los gatos les gusta la leche. So cats like milk. So we use this present simple to talk about these three things, okay? Okay, so guys, tell me the three things we use the present simple for. What are the three uses? Let's see if you remember. Mm -hmm. To routine. To talk about routines. I drink uh, water. I, I drink, drink water. water. What is that? It's a repetitive action or, or a repeated action or a routine or a habit. Okay, very good. Routine habits and repeated actions. We are missing one. Um, facts. No recuerdo todo. Okay, facts or general truth. Okay, verdades generales sobre usted o sobre el mundo, sobre el universo, cualquier cosa. Or facts, hechos. Hechos como, por ejemplo, uh, the day has 24 hours. I mean, yes, no, it's, yes, 24 hours, okay? Days have... 24 hours or the day has 24 hours. Okay, very good. So those are the three things. Now, present continuous. When do we use present continuous? Actions happening now. Okay, guys, so let's see an example. What am I doing right now? What am I doing? Okay, I'm... Um, Talking on the phone. How do you say that using the present continuous? He is talking on the phone. He is talking on the phone. Very good. You can say he is talking on the phone or you are talking on the phone. Tú estás hablando por teléfono. Talking on the phone. Okay, very good. Let's see. What am I doing right now? What am I doing? You are reading a book. You are reading a book. Exactly. You are reading a book. Very good. So that is super nice. So this is something that is happening right now. I'm reading and you are speaking. So it is happening at the time you are speaking. At the time 
you are speaking, okay? Very good, you are reading at the time. I mean, I'm reading at the time you are speaking. Okay, second, future arrangements. Future arrangements. ¿Qué es arrangement, teacher? ¿Qué palabra tan difícil de mencionar? Jamás la voy a decir en mi vida. Future arrangement. Cambiemos arrangement por actions. Future actions, acciones futuras. Pero eso es arrangement, quiere decir que yo ya las pensé, ya las agendé. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si mi jefe quería ir a la casa, yo le iba a decir que no podía porque yo iba a estar visitando a mis familiares o a mi abuela. Entonces, boss, I'm sorry, but I'm visiting my family, but I'm visiting my grandmother. ¿Ok? Future arrangement. Algo que yo ya planeé, ¿ok? En el futuro. Future actions, si no quieren decir arrangements, future actions. Pero si quiere decir arrangement, solo les voy a poner la pronunciación aquí. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra fea? Arrange, arrangement, arrangement. Repeat. Arrangement. Excellent. Arrange. Yes, arrangement. Arrangement. Okay, so that is the pronunciation. So future arrangements. Okay, can you give me an example of a future arrangement? I'm going to give you one first. I'm going to the cinema on Saturday. I'm going to the cinema on Saturday. Something that I already know that I'm going to do. Okay, that is a future arrangement. Diana, can you give me a future arrangement for you? Using present continuous. Un ejemplo quiere. Yes. Okay. Um, sería the Friday. Okay. okay. On Friday. The fri on Friday. How? No, uh, present no. continuous form. Present um, continuous. Este, tengo cita con el doctor. Sería okay. Present continuous. Having. Okay, having. But before that, we have two things. On Friday, having. Uh, no. I am having. I am having. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm having a doctor. A doctor appointment. Appointment. Okay. I'm a doctor appointment. Re read it. I having a doctor. No, I am. I I am having a doctor appointment. Ok, la traducción sería, yo estoy teniendo una cita con el doctor, pero no quiere decir que la estoy teniendo ahorita, sino como es para future arrangements, ya una cita es algo que ya está planeado. Entonces, sí ocupamos el presente continuo. Ok, mm -hmm. vamos a decir entonces, um, I'm having a, a doctor appointment on Friday. On Friday es una time expression. Las time expressions usualmente van al final de la oración. Yo estoy teniendo una cita con el doctor el viernes. In the future. Ok. okay. okay. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes? Ok, teacher. Ok. ¿Está claro, um, Rodrigo? Yes, teacher. Very good. Rodrigo, can you give me an example of a future arrangement that you have? I am traveling to Canada. Very good. I am traveling to Canada. Okay, that is a future arrangement. Very good. Now, temporary situations, guys. I'm learning English. That is a temporary situation. I'm learning English. I'm learning English. Temporary situation. Es una acción temporal. Vamos a estar aprendiendo inglés por seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez meses. Eh, un año, no sé cuánto a todos nos toma distinto tiempo. So I'm learning English. So, pero es temporal. So I'm learning English. I'm learning English. 
Okay, very good, guys. I'm watching a serie in Netflix. Yo estoy viendo una serie en Netflix. No ahorita, ahorita estoy dando clases, pero en esta etapa de mi vida yo estoy viendo una serie en Netflix por un mes, por dos meses, no sé cuánto tiempo la voy a estar viendo. Okay, but I'm seeing it, watching it. Okay, guys. So, ¿tienen alguna duda que yo les pueda ayudar a resolver antes? Aprovechando que han venido a clases, porque muchos de sus compañeros ven el video, aunque no pueden venir por cuestiones de trabajo, ven el video. Entonces, lastimosamente ellos, si tienen una pregunta, no la pueden hacer en ese momento, pero ustedes sí. So, do you have questions, guys? Or no questions? No questions, sir. Okay, so my advice, mi consejo, es que esto que está en esta página, antes de la clase de mañana, ustedes ya lo, hayan, lo tengan fresco, guys, porque mañana comenzamos con otra cosa. Will, si no me equivoco, empezamos con will, o oh, no sé. Ya voy a revisar el tema de mañana, guys. Pero es algo distinto. It's unit four. Unit four. This is unit three. Which one? Oh, This Ken. <laughs> yes. Vamos a empezar con Ken, I think. A modal verb. Ken. To express abilities. Yes. Okay. So, mañana es otro tema ya. Antes del tema de mañana, intentemos que este, estos dos temas, que son unidad uno, más un poquito de la unidad dos y unidad tres, estén claros, ¿ok? Ah, es cierto, uso el presente simple para acciones repetitivas, rutinos, rutinas y hábitos, para verdades generales o hechos, y el continuo lo utilizo para acciones que están pasando, para las future arrangements y para las temporary actions, ¿ok? Entonces, yo ya entendí eso, ya me lo grabé. Ahora tengo que saber hacer este tiempo presente simple en afirmativo, negativo, pregunta, Presente continuo en afirmativo, negativo, pregunta. Y ya cuando yo ya sé usar esto, ya no voy a tener que andar en buscando en Google esto, ¿ok? Este, esta vez le puse la temática de buscar en Google. Ya no voy, a pres, no voy a preguntar ahí, present simple or continuous, porque yo ya lo voy a saber, ¿ok? Ok, and guys, never give up. Never give up. Every day you learn something new. Every day you learn something Okay, uh, in English, so every day you have progress. So don't give up, guys. And I hope to see you tomorrow. We are going to start unit number four. Unit number four about the modal verb can. So I can and other things. When do I use can? Or what is the negative form? How do I form questions with can? How do I ask people about special abilities? So that is what we are going to learn tomorrow, okay? So guys, I hope you learned something in this class and I hope to see you tomorrow. I hope, I always use I hope. What is the meaning of I hope? Yo espero, yo espero verlos mañana. I hope to see you tomorrow. See you okay, very good. So both of you see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.